Um, Mr. Kowalski, I've read through the information that you submitted to the city, and I'm, I think I'm pretty familiar with what you're looking to do, but if you want to give me a, a, you know, a short rundown, um, that would be great. Sure, sure. Um, I think the, the narrative I put together kind of has a bunch of the details. Do you want me to kind of go through that, or uh, well, is that just mind. too much detail? Well, it, 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 you may not have to. Um, you know, this is just the zoning board finding, and um, I know that you're facing the planning board later, which will have a much more in-depth look at what you're doing. Um, my task today is just to make a determination on the finding whether or not um, you know this what you're doing is uh, less detrimental or more detrimental to the neighborhood. So you know if you wanted to just think about that and give me a couple sentence rundown why this is going to be helpful rather than harmful, that would be great. Sure, sure. Yeah. So you know the the existing structure is. Uh... Uh, built back in 1960, you know, 60 year old uh, type building. Um, really old. Yeah, not, not that old. <laughs> Sorry. For, for a building though, uh, you know, yeah. not, a, not the best one to, uh, to go after and try to renovate, I guess is, is where I'm going. I, I know what you meant. Uh, and, uh, you know, really, I, I think, you know, I've, I talked to a couple of the neighbors over there and I think they see that, uh, you know, it would be actually a benefit to, uh, to put a newer home within there. Uh, kind of use up the lot, um, you know, kind of falls within the um, the general plans, I'll say, for Northampton, right, kind of uh, getting a little more uh, um, homes and infill kind of in, in downtown, you know, kind of, uh, um, you know, I think it's it's in fitting with the character of the neighborhood, I'll say. There are a number of uh, multifamily homes uh, on the street there, kind of directly across, um, a couple of single families down the end, but in general, I think it, it kind of fits with the character of uh, that street in that area. Um, you know, not, uh, not looking to go any closer um, on any of the lot lines than the, than the current building that's, uh, that's on there now. Um, right, in fact, you're actually gonna be increasing this, the, the distance as I understand it, right? I mean, it won't meet, for a new structure, it won't meet the full requirement of the 20 feet, but it will be more than it is now, right? Yeah, yeah, and that, that's kind Which of the- why you need the finding, yeah. Yeah, that, that's kind of the challenge with this lot is, you know, it is, it's fairly narrow and, uh, you know, trying to, um, you know, fit something that still gets all the, the parking that uh, that's needed for around there. Um, it was kind of the, the challenge with it, I guess. Right, so yeah, there's no kind of, occupants at the time, at the moment? There are not, no. Okay, all right. Um, I, I just consult with our city staff person. I assume that there is no issue or problems, at least as far as the zoning board is concerned, right? Um, I think, you know, the evaluation for you is pretty discreet in terms of the expansion um, on, t you know, of that rear, on that rear non-conforming setback side. Um, I'm just double checking. I did get a comment from DPW for about reviews. I don't know that um, anything came in. I just want to double check about um, that um, to uh, regarding the finding. DPW didn't have any concerns on the on the on the zoning board piece, um, but they did have comments on the planning. Um, board side and john i will email those to you after we get done here so you can have them before the planning board meeting okay. um but no i mean i think in terms of um expansion of the um you know the step the rear setback is increasing um and it is a um uh neighborhood that has you know multifamily units so um it's definitely consistent with with that. And the neighbors had uh, notice of today's meeting, this meeting. Correct. Okay. Postcards yeah. were mailed yeah. and it was in the Gazette. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Well, then if they're not here, that's probably speaking volume. So, um, all right. Well, I, I think it sounds like a great plan. I will grant your application, at least with respect to the zoning board. Um, I hope this works out and uh, I'd wish you luck with the planning board. Uh, hopefully great. Thank you very much. So, yeah. Well, good luck. When do you... Um, are you ready to get started right away if you get the permission? Yeah, I think for the most part I have been, right? It's kind of uh, with the current economic situation, right? I still need to 
to button all that up and, and, and make sure I'm still ready to ready to go. But I think for the most part, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go. Well, good. Uh, I hope that works. All right. Well, Carolyn, if there's nothing further, then I would close the meeting and adjourn. Or is there anything else I need to do? Uh, you just want to close the hearing and make a motion about the permit. Okay. Um, okay. So I'm going to close the public part of this meeting and um, on the application to um, expand the uh, uh, for the finding in for this unit um, to uh, expand the footprint expansion and the vertical expansion I find that it is not substantially more detrimental to the neighborhood and in fact I find it um, helpful to the neighborhood um, than the existing non-conforming setback and I grant the finding Okay. All right. Good needed. luck. Okay. Thank you. Have a good one. You Thanks. too. Bye. Thanks. Um, so, is there no. anything else? Um, no, because we'll do minutes at the five thirty right. hearing. Um, okay. So, um, yeah. I mean, you can just. Um, I'm going to go make some chicken wings. Take a walk and. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy the evening. <laughs> yeah.